it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft PowerPoint video. In this video, I'll explain the difference between text boxes and text placeholders and demonstrate how to insert, edit, format, size, and move shapes and objects. Let's get started. So for this example, I have a sample template open. First, let's talk about the difference between a text box and a text placeholder. This particular text is in a text box, but it originates from a placeholder. And if I delete the text and click outside of the box, what you'll notice is a text placeholder, which has the text prompt click to add title. Now this particular placeholder originates from the layout in the slide master for this particular template. Now, if you start a brand new presentation, a blank presentation like this, if you click File, New, and click Blank Presentation, you'll always end up with one slide with two placeholders, two text placeholders that have the text prompt click to add title. So back to the template, if you begin with a template, the first slide also contains text placeholders. The formatting will vary with regards to the layout in the selected template. Now text placeholders can only be added in the slide master. If you need more help with the slide master, please see my video number six, which explains the basics of the slide master. To add text in a placeholder, it's pretty easy. You just click inside and then you can start typing. Now, if you delete text in a placeholder, delete it, click off of it, the placeholder remains. So if you want to delete the placeholder altogether, you'd want to click on the edge of the placeholder until the dotted line changes into a solid line and then press the delete key. Now, text boxes, on the other hand, can be added anywhere on any slide. However, the difference is that the text box only remains if there's text inside the box. I'll show you what I mean. Now, to insert a text box, we'll click Insert, Text Box, and then your mouse pointer changes into a crosshair, and then you just press and drag to add your text box. Now, if I click outside of the text box and I don't enter any text in there, notice that the text box disappears. So I'll just go ahead and reinsert that text box and paste some text in there. And next I'd like to show you how to move text placeholders or text boxes or any other shapes. So what you would do is click on the text box and make sure that you have your four headed arrow and then just press and drag and you could easily move your text box. You could move a text placeholder in the same manner or any object. Just make sure that you always have your four headed arrow. If you happen to point to an edge, then that will change the shape of your text box instead of moving it. Now, if you need to move a text box or text placeholder or any other object to another slide, then what you want to do is make sure you select your text box and click on the edge. If you have a dotted line, click on the edge until you get a solid line. And then you want to cut it with either control X or you can right click and cut and remove it and then navigate to another slide and then just paste and you could just use control V um, for paste or you can use the uh, paste options up in here. So let's return back to slide one and now I'd like to go over how to add color and style to your text box. So by default when you add a text box it's plain white background and black text but it's easy enough to add color and style to your text box. All you have to do is make sure that your text box is selected and then right click and you can select the uh, fill, a uh, style, or outline. Now I do want to mention that I am in PowerPoint 2016. If you're using an older version of PowerPoint, like 2007 or 2010, the right-click options are a little different. You can also access all these options in the Format tab here in the ribbon. And the same here, they have your shape, fill, outline, and effects. But um, right-clicking is a little faster. Uh, what you could do is just select your fill color from here. And again, uh, just like changing any other colors, you can select from these options. You can select uh, more fill colors and choose from the palette. Uh, or what you can do is return back to there. And in the fill, you can use my favorite is the eyedropper. Starting in 2000, uh, PowerPoint 2013, uh, the eyedropper lets you select 
from an existing color that you could see on any image. So for example, if I wanted to apply a fill color, the same color as I see here in the template, I'll just use the eyedropper and grab that color. And then maybe I want to change the text to white. I'll just triple click and change the color. And maybe I want to center. Okay, and maybe I want to adjust the size as well. So I'm just going to change the size here, maybe 28. And now to move that, I'm just going to grab it with a four headed arrow and move it over here into the upper left. Now I can also apply some other effects. I'll just right click. You could also select from here as well. And uh, let's see for style, you can pick from all these different preset styles. I'm going to go ahead and pick, uh, let's see, I'll pick this particular one here, which applied a thin outline there. And finally, I'd like to show you how to add and edit a shape and how to add text to the shape. So to insert shapes, you have a couple choices. You could either from the home tab in the drawing group, you can pick from the recently used shapes, or you can click on this little uh, horizontal line with the down arrow, which is more, and then you'll see all the available shapes. You can also get to shapes via the insert tab in the illustrations group, just click on the drop down and you'll see all the available shapes. Now, once you see a shape that you like, then you just want to click on that shape and then just press and drag. Now notice that it's not symmetrical. So what you can do to make it symmetrical, let me just undo that, is when you insert the shape, make sure you hold down the shift key before you press and drag, and then it will always be symmetrical. Now, if you wanted to change the shape with the format tab open with the shape selected, you just click edit shape and change shape, and then you'll be able to change it to any shape you like. Now, I also wanted to mention that underneath uh, edit shape, change shape, there's edit points, and that allows you if you want it to change any particular uh, point on a shape. You can just drag and you can make all kinds of changes. You could even uh, make it into a really odd shape. So finally, I want to mention how to add text to a shape. It's really easy. Uh, once you have a shape, all you need to do is have it selected and then just start typing and then text can be easily added on top of the shape. Now you can also uh, with the shape selected, you can right click and then either uh, select uh, add text or it may say edit text and then you just get your cursor in there and then you can just apply the text. And of course you can change the color of the text, etc., and format as needed. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.